Light TV station London. You see, Rowole has launched the bigger protest. You know, this is what we are talking about. You know, about human rights. So let's watch. This is shining light. This is my documentary. I'm just analyzing the video. Rowole have came to march uh, to launch the bigger uh, June 12th. You know, we cannot know that when they back us, we run inside. No. We are running. No, we are not running anywhere anymore. You know, we have to see it. We have to fight it until when, until they understand the meaning of, uh, um, the meaning of democracy. Hours after it was shot and tear gassed for peacefully protesting an end to insecurity in the country on Monday, May 31st of 2021 in Abuja, human rights activist and convener of the hashtag Revolution Now protest, Omoyele Shoure, has refused to back down as it launches an even bigger protest. Tagged the hashtag June 12 protest, Shoure has now engaged other Nigerians tired of the president Muhammad Buhari's regime to come out en masse on June 12, the days later to celebrate democracy in Nigeria to demand Buhari's resignation and an end. Yeah, um, this is Shining Light TV station, London. I will be part of this protest June 12th, you know, because that is where the problem starts with Babangida and Abiola. But where Abiola made the, his mistake, he said that I can do it without uh, the Igbos. The Igbos say, eh, hey, you can do it without them. That is it. The same way, you know, Babangida quickly play his game, you know, and Abiola was his a great friend. So Nigeria coming to power, they don't have friends. This is Shining Light TV station, London, worldwide. Thank you. To insecurity. As expected, many aggrieved Nigerians have taken to trending the hashtag June 12 protest on Twitter, promising to come out to raise their voice against the oppression meted out by President Buhari and his cohorts. But the question remains, will the protest go as planned? Will it be successful? Will Showare be arrested again like the 2019 Revolution Now protest? Will history repeat itself like the hashtag enters protests that ended with a genocide? And... Do Nigerians trust Showare enough to come out for the protest? Hello, my friend. Casey, Doris, June Master 4000. How? Hello, guys. It's Tico here for African Glitz. Okay, Tico. At such a close range that she looked at me and said, Showare, you are the one here. And she shot me. Initially, it was like a thump. And then later, I started sort of saying, I noticed that blood was running underneath my trousers. Anyway, this is Shining Light TV station, London, worldwide. So, uh, so, uh, so, if they shot you, God is empowering you. If God wants to, if God wants you to do this job, He will empower you. You know, because you started doing this job from university. You know, so God will be taking you uh, through upon every difficult you are going through until you get to your destination. Shining Light TV station, London, worldwide. Thank you. my jeans trousers and the skull I couldn't walk anymore I fell to the ground. She instructed her men to be shooting more tear gas in that direction, apparently to prevent anybody from saving me. Without a doubt, Omoyele Showare has been one of the most consistent human rights activists in Nigeria, and his doggedness is unmistakably a passion for democracy reformation in the country. But since the 2020 ENTAS protests, many have come to openly distrust him over suspicion that he may be faking his passion for activism for brown envelopes. This is following reports that a 50-year-old founder of Sahara Reporters is being paid by the opposition party, PDP, causing mayhem during President Mohamed Buhari's tenure, and if possible, see to not only his resignation or impeachment, but also ensure that APC is never voted into the presidential seat in the future. Surely, this is not the first time Showare will be accused of trading brown envelopes for activism. But as many Twitter users say, every activist has a prize. The year 2014 through 2015... So um, this is Shining Light TV station London. When you are saying Showare is trading with envelope. Um, an activist need money to work, do the work. You cannot go on streets without money. You need work. You have to gather people. You have to give them food for them to march around with you, for you to exercise. If anybody bless them with their work, 
He's not collecting brown envelope, you know. If he, even though PDP is supporting him, you are not, he knows where he's going. So Ole knows where he's going, you know. He knows that this job is a dangerous job and they can kill him and he's fighting for human rights. Who will come out and do this fighting? Who? People are doing it in internet. You people are complaining. People hit on the streets. You want to kill them. Who how are we going to survive? How are we going to how are we going to fight this battle? Are we going to fight this battle by running inside? When they do boop, 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 we run inside. No, it won't work. We have to fight this battle to liberate ourselves. Because I keep on saying it, kingdom of God suffering violence. This is kingdom of God now. He suffering violence and violence created by force. We need to fight. Uh, Rowole is fighting. Shining Light TV station, London, worldwide. I am fighting the battle. Governor, show us your work. Senator, where is your surgery? Voters, right. Uh, Mayegu is fighting. Uh, Sunday, Bo is fighting. Every other person who can come and fight, people tweet it. Tweet a very positive message. Thank you. The 2020 enters protests. Many have come to openly distrust him over suspicion that he may be faking his passion for activism for brown envelopes. This is following reports that a 50-year-old founder of Sahara Reporters is being paid by the opposition party PDP, causing mayhem during President Muhammad Buhari's tenure and, if possible, see to not only his resignation or impeachment but also ensure that APC is never voted Amen. in the seat APC in the will go. Surely, APC must surely go in Jesus' name. So will they fight it? APC we go. Say every activist has a prize. The year 2014 through 2015 saw Shawore run a smear campaign against Good Luck Jonathan to pave the way for Buhari as president-elect during the 2015 presidential election. How he went about the smear campaign convinced many it was born out of a passion for good governance because APC, the then opposition party, had paid him. Apart from efforts of being paid for activism, Shawere has come under fire severally over suspicion that he is doing activism for his selfish interest in becoming the country's next president. With Nigeria why not? Now chanting, if he can be a president and do the job, why not? That Shawere has continued to show a doggedness in activism with hopes that the youth will choose him and massively support him to run for presidency come the 2023 polls. Nonetheless, Shawere has actively been a part of major protests in the country. Country, even though he's based in the U.S. with his wife and children and risks being abused or arrested for protesting. His activism history dates back to when he was still a student of the University of Lagos, where he took part in a 1989 protest against the conditions of the International Monetary Fund $120 million loan to Nigeria, asking the government to reduce the number of universities from 28 to just five. As a result, he was arrested amongst many others and tortured for days until his release. He would later become the president of the student union government in Unilag, where he led many Aluta struggles and faced rustication for two years. The iconic 1993 June 12 protest was also one show red didn't miss as he actively protested alongside others. <laughs> left the country and realized the governance situation in Nigeria had not changed much for the better, he founded Sahara Reporters in 2006 to fight against corrupt government practices in Nigeria. He reportedly runs the media house on grants and doesn't accept financial support or adverts from the Nigeria. Anyway, this is Shining Light TV station, London. You have seen what African Glip is talking about, Rowole. You know, Rowole, keep on fighting because we need to fight this battle and liberate ourselves. You know, we need to, any activist that came out to fight, fight on. Keep on fighting. And I'm fighting with my, I'm fighting and sending a message across the whole world. I will not stop fighting because we have story to tell. Government chanting the slogan, Amumu don't do. 
Showare announced his decision to run for the presidency in 2018, but lost in the 2019 polls to President Muhammadu Buhari. Ever since, he has actively been protesting against Buhari's administration. Ahead of the planned hashtag revolution now protesting nationwide in 2019, Showare was arrested by the DSS in August of 2019 over conspiracy charges to commit treason and insulting President Muhammadu Buhari. Against the court's ruling to grant him bail, Showare spent over four months in jail illegally and was seriously tortured. Upon his release in December of 2019, he was again picked up by the DSS where he said they threatened his life before releasing him. Despite this, Shiore has refused to back down in doing his activism work. He continued to organize protests both online and offline against President Buhari's incompetent government and actively led the Abuja hashtag NSAS protest in October 2020 and even after the Lekki Tollgate massacre. Most recently, he organized a protest in a... Yeah, this is Shining Light TV station, London. So, Ole, you have been trying. Sunday, but we joined the club. Shining Light TV, London. I've been shouting, Governor, show us your work. Senator, where is your son? You vote us right. You see, a lot of... Let me tell you, people, when somebody came to do this job and with fear, we run inside, who is going to do it for us? Who is going to do this job for us? Somebody have to come and keep on fighting for us to get what we want. Thank you. The youth, if you know that Rowole is good for you, vote Rowole. So Rowole will do the job. Rowole will give us electricity. He will give the road. Do vote him. But we, Biafrans, we are going. We are not for Nigerian government. Odudua Nation. Mayegui is shouting, Odudua Nation. We are on Odudua Nation and Biafra Nation. Thank you. Abuja against the rising insecurity in the country. Unfortunately, to the shock of many, the activists alongside others were tear gassed. Before he could understand what was going on, he was hit by a stray bullet at the Unity Fountain in Abuja. From the live stream on Instagram, Shure could be seen bleeding and in excruciating pain before being rushed to the hospital for treatment. We went to the hospital. We got halfway into the public hospital and we decided against it. It's better to go to a private hospital. So we went to a private hospital and they began treating uh, the injury on my thigh. <sighs> we didn't know how big or serious it was, but it was, I was just in a lot of pain. Even though he's yet to attain full recovery from the gunshot wound, Shore has now said that he would not let the injury stop him from protesting against bad governance and immediately launched a bigger nationwide protest for June 12, which is the day set aside to celebrate democracy in the country. Sharing a video of his stand on Instagram, Shore explains that President Buhari's regime planned to eliminate everyone opposed to it. Still, because the plot has failed, citizens now have a chance to demand change, starting with the June 12 protest. Since it launched the hashtag June 12 protest, there are suspicions that it will not be successful over rumors that he is collecting brown envelopes from the opposition party behind closed doors. Many youths are trying not to be a pawn in the activist game, especially one that may cost them their life. Also, referring to the unsuccessful hashtag revolution now where Shawere was picked up by the DSS ahead of the protest, there are reports that history may repeat itself again as the hashtag June 12 protest draws nearer. In other news, many Nigerian youths have grown really fearful of protesting over how the 2020 hashtag NSAS protest ended with a nationwide massacre and mayhem. With the recent tweet from President Buhari where he threatened genocide against the Igbos and IPOP members, it is believed that many youths Youths will not come out for the protest. At the same time, some advised Shoure to learn from the Biafras and recreate the hashtag sit at home protest now the Kano successfully executed on May 31st, 2021. Notwithstanding, Nigerians on social media have been reacting positively to the planned June 12 protest and have been trending it with many slogans, demands, and hashtags. Bibi Niger star Kathy wrote on Instagram, This is horrible. So sorry this happened to you. Thank you for every sacrifice you are making for our society. A Twitter user wrote, June 12 protest is coming. They have paid some animals to trend it. Hashtag Aisha the hypocrite. Sharing a picture saying 30,000 Naira minimum wage is wickedness, a Twitter user wrote, on June 12, we should remember that this is not the democracy we fought for. Democracy should work for the masses, not a tiny few. Nigeria needs a system change. Hashtag June 12 protest. 
sharing a picture saying, Stop killing Nigerians. Another Twitter user wrote, No nation has ever declared war. Yeah, this is Shining Light TV station, London. Um, father of a nation, Buhari, declaring, it's like you are father of your family, declaring war against your children. What type of father are you? What type of father are you? You say you will send them the language they will understand. The language they will understand is it for you to be killing them. You know, stop killing people. Go on dialogue. Talk peace. Make a peaceful, be a peaceful man. You know, killing, killing. You've been killing since uh, six years now. You are still killing. You haven't achieved what you want. You know, this is Shining Light TV station, London worldwide. You know, you can hear what African Glyph have said on this show. Ole, and show Ole, keep on waxing strong because Shining Light TV station, I am waxing strong. I am waxing strong. From that 19 state governors meeting, I had thanks. My eyes opened that day. We need to fight this battle. We need to liberate people. We need to liberate our children. We need to liberate our grandchildren. We need to liberate our great grandchildren. Thank you. Against a citizen and one. Buhari is not a student of history. Hashtag June 12 protest. The National Association of Nigerian Students has also declared June 12 as the National Protest Day for Nigerian Students over the incessant kidnapping of students across the country by bandits. According to the association president, there is nothing to celebrate about democracy in Nigeria. Yes, I said it. Security. Would you say Shiwore activism is fueled by passion or brown and and uh, this is uh, Shining Light TV station, London. There is nothing to be celebrated in Nigeria. I said it, there's nothing. Our father, Ujuku, came and said, you know, there is nothing to celebrate. You might think that this woman, I am telling you with experience. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating Chibugas that they went to invade. We are celebrating mothers that are crying. We are celebrating people that are killing in the farm. We are celebrating that Buhari is telling that he's going to massacre 2,000 people that they have kidnapped. We are celebrating that art, an artist that came out, an artist that came out marching on the street. There is no security in this country. Insecurity is existing. We need security. We need government change. And you shot him and you want to kill him. Is that what we are going to celebrate? Is that what how a country being run? The voters cannot exercise their right. I'm in a country that voters exercise their right. So, voters, open your eyes. You must surely exercise your right. You must surely, because I started this thing for long. Senator, where is uh, governor? Show us your work. Senator, where is your surgery? Voters' right. Voters will exercise their right. Even though there is Biafra, Biafra, when there is president, we will exercise their right. Yoruba nation will exercise their right. Everybody, we need to exercise their right. That is why it's democracy. So an activist fighting and you come to gun him down and you think he will, not, he will run inside. You use your thing to scare him. No. Voters will exercise. Activists keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. If the youth like you, think you will do a good job, you've been in America. Bring America to Nigeria. If somebody in the United Kingdom wake up that he wants to be a president, I want to take United Kingdom to Nigeria, see how it's been done here, do it. You know, Shining Light TV station, what I'm telling you people, that governor, because this is what I experienced in international world, when you go to your MP, your MP will attend to you. So it's the right of the voters in Nigeria for their senator to attend to them, for member of House Assembly to attend to them, member of every member, even minister. When people complain, you need to attend to them. It's their right. You are just a political appointee. Any minister is a political appointee. Thank you. Lopes, do you think the June 12 protest will be successful? And lastly, do you think history will repeat itself with your rev being arrested ahead of the protest? Share your opinion. Um, this is Shining Light TV station, London Worldwide. Um, uh, African Glimp, by telling me, do you think history will repeat itself? You know Nigerians that they don't have government, you know. All what they are, what, what they are very good in, 
to how to kill people, you know. History can rep uh, repeat himself, but he he is that is going on the road to march out. He will prepare. He he, uh, he too will prepare himself, you know. He will surely prepare himself well, you know. This is Shiny Light TV station, London worldwide. Thank you. In the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like, and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Finally, click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.